I'm not used to, to play with that many models. That's right, we'll go slow. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Um, so what was the guy that you forgot? The SMG Acrylat Canone. Oh, you've got one of the, one of them as well. Great, okay. To send you, send you um, well, now I've deployed 100% of my models. Um, you can go ahead and put down um, your reserve troopers. I have sent you the list in case I have missed something or oh, okay. made something wrong. Yeah, I, I won't look at it until the after, after the game. So we got our um, Shukra. He's prone and we have the posthumans. So, engineer. Just be careful because the pathing of the billboard on the on the roof causes some problems. So he's going to go in the corner, is he? Yes. Great. And repair bot. Very nice. So we're going to have one to help out the um, Dakini team. Lovely stuff. Good place for him. He can move around to repair the uh, Dakinis on either side of the building. I like that. I'm a little worried about templates. Um, I do I do have a missile launcher on top of this roof, but it's very hard for me to reposition him. Like I'd have to spend a lot of orders getting around and blowing you up. But maybe if I if I survive until my turn, I can hit this guy and, and blow up two people at once. But the problem with that is that I'll engage your sniper first. It'll be very difficult for me to beat you at that range. The Drews don't have particularly effective um, profiles to use. Oh, we've got a um, proxy FO. Oh. It's just going on the corner here. Yeah, he should be able to avoid the um, the Drews until they come around a bit further. I have to deploy him only eight inches, so ah, uh, yeah, he can deploy up to sixteen with his four deployment level one. Oh, it's a medium infantry, so that will have forward deployment level two. Because oh yeah, effectively, the... yeah, that's pretty uh, pretty amazing. I keep forgetting that when I run um, run my proxies. Okay, well I've got a tournament coming up next weekend, so you've um, already helped me with something. Do oh, that because of one of the Ariadna models. The I don't remember the name. Oh, yeah. One of the USA Army have the forward deployment level one, and my opponent told me that because of the season, he will have also the level two. Very nice. Um, okay, so would you like to roll this um, grey dice here to represent the booty that's obtained for your bounty hunter? Yes, let's see what happens. Adhesive launcher. Well, he's got a lot of glue, doesn't he? Um, I'm going to do the same thing for my one. So, I'm going to make a roll. And my one has a breaker rifle. Okay, I'll just write that down on his equipment list. Breaker rifle could be very useful against a Marud. Um, okay, options, grid, and remove the grid. So, um, how many orders do you have at the start of the game? 15. So, 10 in group 1 and 5 in group 2? Yes. Okay, so which which models specifically are in group 2? Just the Dakini team? The Dakini with the CSU. And in the other group, it's one for the post human, two for the probot, uh, three, four for the net rods, five for Shukra, six for the probot, seven for the bounty hunter, eight for the Lamed, nine for the Marut, and maybe ten. The, the Shukra 
maybe I don't remember you. Yeah, you could have a secret counting. hidden deployment model. <laughs> Let me count that again. One, two, three for the post humans, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I, I see what I forgot. I forgot to count this pro this limit here. Okay, so um, even though you have counterintelligence, which stops me from stripping two orders from your group, I'm still going to spend one command token to remove a single order from this group here. So it'll, you'll start with nine. And then good luck, sir. It's ready for you to play. Um, thank you for playing against me. No worries. What would you like to start with first? To see if I can get any of your models. Don't forget, I've got a camera I'm marker going. inside this building, so I'll leave that one open. The only model that's directly exposed is the um, the missile launcher bot. But that's part of the link team. So the link team consists of that bot there, with the Drew's killer hacker in the building, Valeria Grommers at the back, the brawler sniper here, and the Drew's sniper at the back. They're a five-man team. Uh, I miss that the bot is inside the link team. Yeah, he's definitely in yeah. the link team. So before you move out, just bear in mind that he's controlling that area. Uh, plus three ABS and plus one burst. Also, yes. So. Yeah. And he's got a missile launcher. I'm going to spend my first order in the Nagini. Okay. The leader is going to be the HMG. Well, um, hold on. If you make the leader the HMG, this guy will be outside of the range. They have to be inside the range when I declare my first sort of skill. Yeah, so once you designate the link leader at the start of the order, um, everybody needs to be within eight inches for them all to be participating. You could reform it later though, if you're willing to spend a command token to, um, to fix it up. So you could start over here and move these guys and then add him to the link team later by expending a command token to repair the link. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I will break the link and move the the four guys. Sure. So she'll just come to the other side of the, the window. That was my first part. Do you want to move the sniper on top of the building, or is that going to stay that stay where it is? He will stay over there. Okay. Then your second shot. I don't have any arrows. Saito will not appear. So your second shot skill. Remember, on their second move, they can only move four inches. That's probably. Yeah, so about there is where he needs to be. Great. Yeah, that's fine. And she can remove the prone state if she wants to move the maximum distance. Looks good. Do you want to move the sniper or not? Mm, yes, I will have to. The only way for him to get down is to climb or to use the um, this, the stairs. This thing here, 
yeah so he'd, he'd actually have to go backwards and leave the link team if he was needing to leave unless you want to spend a long skill after this to climb him down I will try to use the the stairs over there. Oh, the stairs side. over there? Yeah, okay, that's that actually works. Sorry, I missed that. Even though I designed the map, I forgot about the ladder. So it'll take him like three inches to move to there, and then three inches down. So by the end of the order, he'll he'll get to here, which looks good. We'll spend one more order. In first, was what I'm going to do is use one command token. Okay. To reform the link, and the leader is going to be the sniper. Great. Let's I just, think the. We'll just pretend that he's back a little bit so that he can be in range because you would have had a lot of time to organize that, but we just didn't uh, observe the normal. No. Normal formalities. So you've spent in your order, you've reformed the link, and they can now move. Okay, that was the first part. Okay, uh, no arrows for me, so you're welcome to move it a second time. Oh, excuse me, um, there's a dice roll that we forgot to make. Um, I'm just going to go into the box here for scenario markers and get a Metachemistry 1 um, dice because your CSU has a special ability we didn't determine yet. So if you want to roll this uh, green dice we can give her an ability so she has NWI which is really good so you'll be able to rename her description great and are they still preparing their second move Can I come a little bit further? Excellent. Okay. No arrows uh, to that either. And one more order. Now the leader is going to be the HMG. Okay. I'm going to um, move this bridge so that it's easier for you to interact with your models. I'm trying to get at some point a fire with this battle bot. Oh, yeah, I've accidentally put him uh, where he's visible, so um, at that point you will see that baggage bot. So I'm going to attempt to dodge the baggage bot this way to get out of line of fire. But okay, complete I'll your movements move first with everybody, and then we'll resolve that. We'll move the rest. Okay, so I I will shoot the fight against the because Excellent. I think I can only see the the baggage bot. Yes, that's right. So um, I will attempt to dodge, like I said, at minus three because remotes are minus three, 
and your shots will simply be on 14s because um, the range band is, is good for you and you're plus three for the link team obviously the cover cancels the range band so 11 goes up to 14 on five dice so my attempt to dodge is coming up now i roll uh, a one which passes but uh, you'll surely beat that with a lot of your dice okay so you've beaten it with the eight the one cancels the eight the 11 is also a success so i'm going to make two saves with plus three armor from the cover I roll um, a 9 and a 7, both of which are failures, so the bot is uh, taking two wounds. So it's unconscious. One more wound and it will be removed completely, but I don't have an engineer to repair it anyway, so it's going to be gone for good. Carry on. We spend one more order in that link team. The leader is going to be the HMG again. see this bot. Uh, what about this camouflage marker here? I don't know if at that point I can see your... Okay, your so you, you're going to stay back behind the wall so that you avoid the camouflage yes. marker, but you will also be able to see my, um, my drone bot. Okay, good play. Well, I will respond with a flash pulse. And nobody else will take any action because they can't see you at this point. Oh, wait, I want you to be careful because look at this. Over here, I have a sniper as, as well. You see this? Hmm. Uh, you could shoot me because I'm just a, I've got a sniper with mimetism. Um, you will not have cover, but you'll have five dice. I'll have two shots. Um, it might be to your advantage to shoot me, but also it's very risky. At the same time, I'm not too sure what the best play is, so I'll leave that to you to decide. I will shoot you because I have moved him already over there, so it's fine for you to shoot me. I will well, put um, there'll be a flash pulse at you as well as the two sniper shots with double action. I will move the link team first. Okay. Uh, we put three on the sniper and two on the flash bot. Excellent. Which one do you want to roll for first? The sniper. All right. Well, um, the range band is uh, successful for both of us. You're in the link team, so you start with Blistical 11, plus three for range, plus three for the link. It takes you to 17, but minus three for mimetism, minus three for cover, so it puts you back on 11. So you need three dice on 11. Uh, for me, I blitz school 12, plus 3 for the link team is 15, plus 3 for the range, but minus 3 mimetism, so 2 dice on 15s with double action. So do you want to roll that now? Yes, so you're rolling for 15, no? Yep, here come my dice, come on, 3 and 9 only. What did you get? Well, you cancelled my 3, but the 9 will strike you, so uh, 2 saves from the double action round on the Drew Sniper. I need 16 or more. Oh, oh. very nice rolls. Very lucky. Very today, nice I rolls. Think. And I'll respond with uh, my Fugazi um, as well. So one dice from the Fugazi. I need, I think, uh, a 10. I pass on the 9. I um, failed, I think. You did fail. Um, even though you have Mimetism, at Willpower 13, I'm plus 3 range, minus 3 cover. So I needed a... Um, uh, 10 because of your mimetism so 9 was very lucky but your BTS save comes now uh, the 13 no? yeah so you so block the armor do you block the BTS um, is he BTS 3? I think he is BTS 3 yeah and because of that you um, are fine so um, well played <laughs> you did very well he's the one who make everything <laughs> uh, Okay, so I will spend my last... I have to check if the CSU is inside the 8. Nope, so the link is broke again. Oh no. But um, you, still, you, still can, you still keep the people who are inside, so 
it's quite important to um, still have the link leader there because there are currently a four person link team. You won't get the plus three ballistic skill, but it is important for you to get the plus three, um, the plus one burst bonus. Oh, I think the the link is break, but only the CSU is outside, no? No, when you spend a new order on your Dakini HMG, um, the link the link team will stay there. It'll just become a smaller link team. So later on, you can reform it to add this the CSU. But right now, the link team has these four people, okay. and that will give you the plus plus one burst, which might be important. So I will spend my last order from that pool in the in the link team. Yeah. The HMG is going to be the uh, the leader. Okay. Uh, any arrows beside the sniper and the flash pools? Only those two. So I will do the same three on the sniper and two on the. No, wait. All all five on the on the sniper. That's a really good choice that you just made because if you if you shot at the flash pulse spot and it wins, then it can't affect the rest of your turn because the flash uh, stun only lasts until the end of the turn. So well played. I think that was a really good decision. So you're. Remember um, the flash it's only a stone for, for one round, so... So you have five dice. Unfortunately, you will now need uh, to be hitting on um, a lower number, so the range and the cover will cancel, and then you're minus three because of mimetism. So three dice, so five dice on eights, and I'm five, two dice on fifteens, but you have another opportunity to kill me here. So I'm going to roll my dice now and hope to get some decently mid-ranging dice. Eleven's good, but you could crit me on an eight. I greet you with an... Uh, ah, okay. Well done. Okay, so my sniper is killed. So, a little bit unlucky for me. That's okay. You don't have any any doctor? Neither, no? No. Okay, now I will spend my lieutenant order in the Maru. Okay. You can move over top of the box, it's, it's okay. So that's about four inches to there. And then he comes um, to two over. Okay, uh, no arrows. Then he moves again, four inches. Still no arrows. Okay, I will spend one more order on the Marut. Six to there. Okay. Uh, no arrows for no, me. No. He's going to go four to there. Okay, very good. I will use another one. Yep. I can move through through the crates because yes, of I'm course. high. Yep. Yeah. So I will move up to here. Oh yeah, because you want to see the um, the the missile button. Is that correct? Yes. And because you only have a a, a four, four man. Yep. Members. And you cannot see this camera marker yet, and I think you can't see this um, this bot here. Mm, no. Yep. Okay, my air rose at this point in time. We have um, Saito Dogan here. So he's gonna try to declare an engage. 
And the missile bot's going to fire the armor-piercing explosive single burst. Uh, sorry, not the single burst. This uh, just a direct hit template uh, without using the template. Sorry. So I'm going to try and engage with Saito, and then shoot the missiles. Big play, high stakes. What would you like to do? What I'm going to do, I don't know if it's a smart move, is use the flamethrower against Saito. Um, just, to, just to help you here with the, the tactics, um, the engage that I'm declaring will count as a dodge. So if I am able to roll equal to his physical of 13 or less, he'll dodge the flamethrower and engage you. But if I fail, then I'll take the flamethrower hit. Also, the, um, the missile launcher shots against you will be normal rolls. So if I pass both of them, uh, you'll take six armor saves at half armor. Um, so that's one, it's one thing to do. Um, another thing you could do is attack him in close combat because you're allowed to do that when he declares the engage. Another thing you could do is ignore his, um, his attacks and fire your HMG at the bot. Or you could actually fire at Saito instead and ignore the bot. You could split it. Um, I don't think he's got a pistol, is that right? No, no pistol. No pistol. It's, I mean, it's a difficult decision to make. You could try and fire the HMG uh, split burst at Saito and the, um, the bot. It's hard to hit Saito because, actually, no, you've got MSV2, so you'll ignore his TO camo. So the shot at close range will only be on 12s, so you could put some burst into him. So that's another option, but if you want to stick with a flamethrower, that's also good. I think the the split that you told is the best. So I would put two on the bot and three on Saito. Okay, fair enough. Because yeah. is 12, so yeah. it's better. I just wanted to help you out with that because I know that you're still learning N3 and I think that decision of the flamethrower is highly likely to cost you the game. But this decision with the HMG gives you a good chance if you roll good dice then you'll you'll defeat me right now because i won't have much left so what would you like to roll for first saito the pink okay. one all right so saito is going to attempt to um engage you right now and he gets only a one. Oh, you, you, roll two you have to re-roll all of this eight. you have to re-roll all of that because it's you said two dice right no one devote the and three on saito oh okay because oh, i'm okay. Mm, worried. Oh, okay, sorry, I didn't I didn't catch that. All right, so I'll just take two armor saves. Uh, Thirteen and four, so he's just he's killed completely. And the two shots from the missile launcher. The missile launcher is split skill twelve. Um, good range ban, so two dice on fifteens, and your shots will also be on fifteens. Okay. Okay. Ah, I got an 18. So you Nothing. take three saves at um, uh, five. Just got to roll uh, high numbers. Um, yeah, only, he only takes one wound. Uh, because of the tactile awareness, I will have one... Order just for the Marut, no? Yes, correct. What I'm going to do is spend that order right now. Mm -hmm. And he will move up to here. Um, just watch out for my uh, flashball spot here as well. Yes, yes, I want to see the, the flash pulse also. Okay, so the flash pulse will um, shoot the flash pulse and the missile bot will fire two missiles at you, just like it did before. So now we will put three on the missile launcher bot and yep. two on the flash bot. Uh, but you only have uh, four shots. Oh, yes, sir. So we made a mistake, or I made a mistake in the last shoot against Saito and, and the smart missile launcher. Well, no, because you put three onto Saito and one into the missile launcher. Uh, you rolled too many dice, but that's okay. Um, I heard you say one dice. So it's, it's fine. Uh, we'll keep the result. Um, but right now, how do you want to split the four shots? Uh, two and two. Two and 
Two and two. Okay, which one do you want to roll first? The missile launcher. Okay, I'm looking for 15s. Come on, 15s. 4 and 11. So I hit you once because the 8 beats my 4, so take 3 saves again at half armor. We need to see some low numbers now. Uh, he is unconscious. Two more wounds. So I'll just put the unconscious marker here and replace the, uh, the wound marker so we know that he's on the ground. And the one shot from the flash pulse spot needing uh, 16. Just a two. Uh, didn't you say two shots on each? Yes, so you have to reroll. Um, so you've beat me twice, actually. Um, the, the, the 12, in fact, is a crit because you ignore my mimetism and it's a zero range band, so minus three for cover. 15 goes down to 12, so you just crit me and, uh, and kills me. What I'm going to do more is spend one order in the engineer. Okay. First, the first sort of skill will be what more outside the window. And the arrow. Ah, uh, not yet. And the second part will be moved up to there. Okay, great. Looks like he's going to be in range to do the repairs. I will spend one more order and yep. move forward. Uh, no Four arrows. Up to nope, got nothing. Four more up to there. Yep. With one more order, we'll touch the Marut. Right. And try to recover him with a uh, whip 15. Yeah, nice. So he goes back to um, having two wounds instead of unconscious. Great. No. I'm going to suspend one more order in the Marut, who is going to release the Krakata. Okay. To touch the, the panoply and go inside I, again. Um, I can do that. When you, when you activate him like that, does it allow me to shoot the Marut? He's out of line of sight anyway, so I think he's fine. Um, I'm just wondering, I mean, we have some people from Twitch watching the game. Um, does that allow me to flash pulse the Marut? I'm not really even sure. Also, there's no With... space for him to be, be added base to base. He would have to start here. But I think he can then walk around, if that's correct. The, with, with this flash pulse, do you mean? Yeah, and anyway, they're saying that I have to get line of fire to the rim pilot. So you'll be able to actually get him out and move around to the panoply by doing that. But also, uh, the flash pulse is unconscious. Oh yeah, Here's of course, one. of course, yeah. Okay, sounds good. And um, would you like to take something from the panoply? Yes. Oh, we need to pass a so... willpower check. Uh, that's successful. So uh, you've got the booty level two dice, unless you want booty level one, what, up to you. What I'm going to do, because of the Krakatech Specialist, I will pick the nano screen. Nano screen, great. Because I think you can change whatever you roll for the nano screen. Yeah, I think so. Um, I uh, Hopefully that will also apply to the Marut when it, once it gets back in it. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, yes, it's equipment. Yeah. that's what they told me in the, in the group. Yeah. <laughs> so I will spend one more order okay. to bring back the, the Krakata inside the, the Marut. Great. Okay, so we'll um, put him away. Uh, two orders left. I have been kicked. Oh, sorry, I've lost you. You might have disconnected, actually. I, I have been dropped out. 
that's okay. I'm still in the game, so just just jump back into the game. Obviously, the name and the password are still in the um, in the DM. And he's back. We'll just wait for you to load back up. Before I forgot about that, I will spend one command token to reform the link team. Oh yeah, good good decision. Um, who's going to be the leader? It is going to be this Dakini. Okay, great choice. Okay. What I'm going to do is spend one order and one command token to make a combinated order with the Marut and the proxy one. Yep. Because I don't want my engineer to be outside. Exposed. The yeah. the spearhead will be the Marut. Uh -huh. The, the engineer will just go prone over there. Yeah. Now the Marut is going to move this way. Okay. Uh, you want to take uh, the fight with the bot or you want to ignore him? I see you're coming mm -hmm. that way to ignore him. I want to shoot the the bot. Okay, Maybe so point you can you what what you could do me. is you could spend one inch to move that that way to see me, and then five inches back this way, and that would that would achieve that. One inch up to here. No. Yeah, just very careful because don't what you got to worry about my repeater network here, which might cause hacking. So just be very careful. From that point, you will be able to see me. I can't see you, but the, the range for the hacking attack through the repeater of the, the robot might affect you, so just got to be careful about coming too close. You should have the nano screen now, so um, as you move through there, yeah, um, we can. In fact, we can already see each other, so um, all you got to do is move back. So that's fine. And just to be clear, uh, the, the hacking distance would have been uh, like here, so yeah, it's, it's a long way away anyway. Excellent. Okay, so you're going to put um, four shots into me. I'll put two shots into you. I can shoot that full burst. Yeah, full when... burst. Oh, no, no, not full burst. It's, the... it's half burst if you use a coordinated order. Well, I think so. I will put two, the two I have on the smart missile launcher. Yeah, because you used a coordinated order, is there anybody else in group one that wants to use the free movement? Or are you okay with your position? They're they're fine. They're fine for now. Well, the good news is that I'm only a four man link, so I need twelves because plus range plus uh, minus cover, and same for you plus range minus cover straight ballistic school for fifteen. But just make sure that you beat me. You ready? Yes. Yeah, so we are both rolling for. You're rolling for fifteen. I'm rolling for twelve. But we got two dice each. You ready? Yes. Let's see what. <laughs> Uh oh, Volesi finally got a little bit of luck in this game. I got a 12. I mean, so I have to make two armor safe and one wound, no? Yes, yeah, so you've already taken one wound, and there's two additional saves to make at half armor. So the armor will be 4 plus cover 7. Uh, eight actually, because it rounds down to five, because you're armor nine, right? 
Armor 8. Oh, Armor 8. Okay, so yes, it is 7, yeah. So make sure that you get enough to... Yeah, so um, only one more wound. Uh, wait, is there 8? It's only damage 14, I think. So I think he passes them. So he's just unconscious. Now you have a chance to repair him again if you want. That is what I'm going to do with my last order. Okay. She will... Hmm. Move to touch the... That? Yep. So she can't be prone anymore because she's <laughs> had to walk. And then you just need to make sure that you pass these rolls rather than failing them. Easy. So that repairs him. Very good work. And he gets two wounds instead of unconscious. And he's got his nanos. Uh, and that was my last order. But luckily you got the mint nano screen, so um, it still makes it difficult for me. Let's have a look at um, my list. So um, if I take a uh, irregular order, I've got one Hunzukut in each group. So group one, I uh, started with nine regulars, but I have lost um, a flashball spot and I've lost um, the... Uh, Drew's Sniper, so I'm on 7. Group 5, uh, so group 2, I've lost Saito, I've lost one of the Camille, so I should have 3, because there's one Camille, one Bounty Hunter, a Pathfinder, and then there's a Hunzakut in that second group. Alright, so group 1 has... Um, uh, group 1, I think, is the olive-coloured one, so this Hunzakut's group 1, this Hunzakut's group 2. Okay. If you don't mind, I can change the facing of the proxy. Yeah, because... of course. Of course you can. Yeah. Thank you. If I shoot with my um, Sierra drone bot, it's one dice 14s against one dice 15. I'm not too sure if I'm happy about it. Um, I think that has to be the first play that I make. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is spend one order from my um, my group one on Valeria Gromos. And she is going to put down assisted fire level two onto my, um, my Sierra drone bot over here. Uh, because there's a repeater with the probot to be able to do that. And then the next order from group one, I'm going to spend on that uh, TR bot, and it's just going to simply uh, move to uh, this spot right here where it can see your um, your proxy and the Marut. So they both no, get to react you? now. The proxy is going to... Hmm. This proxy is going to dodge. Okay. To that. Up to there. And the Marut is going to shoot you. Sure. Okay. So the Marut um, will will have good range and just minus three for cover. Um, I'll ignore the nano screen thanks to assisted fire. So I'll be on 14s. So good luck to you, sir. Um, you have lots of, lots of armor here. So it's going to be very difficult for me. But I'm going to have a go at it. Oh, Vol getting lucky. Um, I roll it in. Actually, no, the 11's not a crit because I ignore your, your thing, so you've actually blasted me there. So well done. The 14 um, beats me, so I've got to take oh, the use Yes. Sorry, I don't yeah. say, say that. Um, I think I'm destroyed. Yeah, my bot's just completely destroyed. Ouch. Okay, that's painful. Uh, now I have to roll for the proxy dodging yep. to see if I can get outside. Line of fire. Okay. Yeah, that should be sufficient. Yeah. I can go prone with the uh, dodge movement, or I can only move. Uh, only move. You've got to choose between prone or dodge. Okay, now I have to um, try and take on that Marut uh, with my sniper, otherwise I'm going to die. Um, how are we going to do that? Still have three command tokens. 
Do you have any... any ah, the brawler, sorry. Uh, the, I mean, the brawler wouldn't have cover if I come there, but it might be long range. Be 18s versus 15s. Uh, it's very risky, but I've got to go for it. So spend one order on the, the link team, and the um, link leader is going to be uh, Valeria Gromos. The border sniper is going to move um, four inches in this direction. Whoop. And the um, clipper drop, clipper drone bot is going to move over to here. Lock him again. And this Drews is going to move over to there. Larry is just going to move out like that. Okay, um, I don't think you've got any hidden deployment to kill me with? Mm. No, okay. So we'll move again, brawl a sniper four inches around to here. Larry is just going to stay in range, and the Druze is just going to um, pop over to the side just to make sure we maintain coherency. All right, taking risk, spin the next one. Um, the Druze is gonna um, walk like this to see your Marut. Right about there, and then he's just gonna pull back. Um, so he's gonna be in range of everybody, and Valeria is just gonna hang out, of course. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to try and shoot you. I will shoot you back with an 18, I think. Yeah, it should be, with, if it's in the correct range. Oh, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. It's actually beyond 32. So it's minus 3 for you, so you need a 12. And for me, it's still just going to be 12s, uh, because it's plus 3 range, minus 3 for um, the nanoscreen. So that's what I was hoping for, but it's still, you know, easy chance of just killing me here and just winning. So rolling my dice. Uh, oh, I, I did get a 12. I failed, so... So a crit, and then three more saves. It's good that I got a crit, because his armor is very high. Bliss skill 12, plus three range, minus three for nano screen. yep. Oof, okay, so three more saves. Uh, I will have armor 11, because you say yes. double up. Yes, you will. So uh, rolls of five plus will, will be fine. Uh, so one additional wound, so he's second level unconscious. So if I do any more damage, then he will, um, he'll be gone. Um, all right, spending one more order from that group. I'm just simply going to return my guys to where they were. So he's going to come this way. Larry is going to walk back around here. Sniper is going to walk back this way. And the um, the bot is gonna come back to his position. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna um, sorry rewind the game. Excuse me. Keep rewinding. Just loading it up. Okay. So now, if I correctly unlock the bot, it's gonna be able to move back to its position next to the wall. Lock it again, and this guy's going to be able to successfully move back to there. Valeria's moving back, and this guy's moved back. Okay, cool. So after that, I'm I'm now going to fire my um, my shots at the um, the tag to try and remove. Oh, do I? Does the nano screen shut down when you're unconscious? Because I know that equipment stops working when you're unconscious. Uh, I would think so because the nano screen is also an equipment. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to attempt to shoot at him again then, just because I'm very close to removing him. So that's going to be three hits, so it'll be six armor saves on armor eight. Um, yes, he's definitely destroyed at this point, but he's um, had a very big impact on this game and has um, survived and been re revived many times. Uh... I then I pick from the nanoplay come towards the the objective. Or... Yes, it will still continue to count. Absolutely. 
Okay, um, one more order from group one, and I'm going to reposition my link team again. So uh, we're going to uh, hide Valeria in the te team here. We're going to put the Druze killer hacker back uh, on the ground here. And my sniper is actually going to take up a position in there uh, where it's going to be able to defend against the bikinis. And that's it for that, um, that little uh, team there. Okay, I'm going to spend the order from the Hunzakut in group one, um, flipping that over. The, the oh, Dakini no. is missing, this one. I don't know why the model is not there. What do you, sorry, what was that? The Dakini, the 3D model is missing. Can you see him I now? I can see a... No. If I copy I see paste? A cube. Yes. Okay. I, I'll delete no the one that was there and replace him. Um, is he correct now? Can you see this guy? Uh, yeah, thank you. I don't know because I only see a little cube instead of the model. Oh, so you only see the cube. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll replace him with a 2D. Because we need you to be able to see his position. That's very important. No, no uh, now I'm able to see the model. Okay. But... Well, you can reposition him then if you can't see him. No, it's, it's in the right spot. Okay, good. Okay, so I need to activate the um, the Hunzakut that's positioned there in the building. And he's got a he's got an olive uh, base, which means he's group one. So I'm going to spend the group one order um, to flip that over. And he's going to not be prone anymore, but he's going to move four inches directly over to here. Uh, that is going to uh, provide an ARO to the uh, proxy right here and also the flashball spot. So they have an opportunity to do something if they'd like to. Okay, the proxy is going to delay and the flash pulse is going to try to discover. Okay, well, I'm going to continue moving. So I'm going to go two to there and then another two around here. So you get a free discover right now. I think it will be 10 because you are not in the good range. He's uh, not discovered. I'm going to spend one more order on him, and he's going to move like this. Um, he's going to move uh, four inches to here. Like that. Any arrows against that? I think I can change facing because of the six inches level two only, no? Yes, you can. Um, so while you do that, I'm going to reveal myself and um, deploy a repeater. Will delay the. Mm, it doesn't matter what I, I do. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so next up, I'm going to spend um, an order from group two on the bounty hunter right here and it's going to um, move up out, out there and just stop there where it can see uh, I can't see the the model of the bounty hunter neither oh you can't see that either oh there must be something uh, going no. wrong with your with your loading uh, of it and also the sucra is missing okay that's no worries we can easily um, just replace it because I mean I can see everything from my screen nothing's wrong on my side Maybe when we rewind the table. When we rewind it. Um, are there a lot of other models missing, or can you see them in general? Uh, this one, this one, that one. So I'm just replacing the Shukra. And what was the other one that's missing? That one. And your Drus. I think this. This. Are they showing? I, I think it's because when you rejoin the game, that's probably probably why. Mm. Yeah. Um, just as an experiment, because I want to find out a bit more about how the three D model workshop works. Do you mind just leaving the game and then rejoining it and seeing if that actually fixes the problem? Okay. 
in the meantime I'll just get some of my my guys ready to replace so just in case I'll get out the um, killer hacking device and sniper Wait. I'll get out my brawler as well just your basic uh, rifle light shotgun bounty hunter and now it'll give you a chance to reload everything Does that make a difference? Yeah, no, I can't see any of my models. You cannot? No, I will send you a... Oh, don't worry about screenshotting me. Um, I'll just put some 2D ones down. So um, we'll bring in the brawler light, light shotgun. Yeah, there's something something weird about um, well, some countries having problems, I think. Or it might be sort of a, a lag issue. You might also need to restart TTS to be able to, to fix the problem, but um, temporarily... We've got a game going. Shot. I'm just going to get um, the two 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 D models in position so that we can um, continue the game. I will I will restart the DTS and let's hope. Yeah, um, just broke. for the sake of science, I'm quite curious as to whether that actually solves the problem or not. Uh, for those who are watching, um, every time I've had that issue where I've... Um, for me, the bug usually occurs when I go up to games, go workshop, and then hit the expand button to bring something in from one instance of a save game to another. And after I do that, usually um, that just fixes everything like a charm. Uh, whereas in this case, he's just tried rejoining the game and it still hasn't worked. Um, but we'll try with restarting TTS because uh, I've found that 99% of the time it fixes the problem for everybody. Uh, what's most recently happened, by the way, is I have spent the order to uh, activate the SMG here, who can either fire a long range SMG shot at this uh, proxy or a glue gun. We'll see. What is her physical, by the way? It's 11, I 11. think. Yeah, it is 11. She have a nanopulsar as well. Yes, it does. Okay, that's nasty. Very tough game so far for both sides. position right here. Okay, now everything is fine. Everything's fine? Okay, so I think that proves the solution then. If you're having trouble, um, that's, that's that's what to do. So I'm just going to quickly replace my models because, of course, I much prefer to use the 3D ones. So um, if you have a look over here, the SMG um, bounty under with the adhesive launcher um, Arcalite Canone has activated. What would you like to do with your, um, your proxy? We'll try to dodge up to here. Uh, you're going to dodge. Um, okay, I'm just going to fire my um, my SMG long range and hope that I get uh, a good dice. I have also mimetism with oh, really? the proxy. 
Um, well, I'm still going to fire because I've got three shots, and if I get anything good, like it's, so it's minus three range, minus three mimetism, so I'm going to need sixes. But if I manage to get a hit on her, then she's deleted, so I'm going to do that. All right, so rolling that up, I got a two, a two and a one, so hopefully you fail. Ah! <laughs> okay. It's not what I wanted. She's still there though, and she, uh, she's uh, she's touching the panoply now, so she'll have cover. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Those Dakinis are a problem, even though there's a repeater there. I just don't really like that. It'd be good to um, reduce their effectiveness. You've already spent uh, a lot of command tokens, so reforming the link's hard. Hmm. You've killed a lot of my guys, but um, the Marut's worth a lot of points. A lot of points. So yes, I maybe I don't I'm, use the Marut in an effective way. Yeah. I don't. Even with um, Saito, I mean, Saito's a lot of points. You've taken out a TR bot, um, baggage bot, flash bot, and a Drew's sniper, and it's. I think the Marut's still more expensive than them. So it's a close game, um, but we'll see. Okay, I, my friend, here was a, here's what I'm going to try. Spinning the or, the irregular order on the other ones are good. He's going to stand up and walk four inches to the, this spot here. And that means that um, nobody sees him yet because you can't see through the, the house out the other side. So when he does no. this and moves four inches to here, you are going to get a free arrow from the the proxy. So you can dodge prone or you can discover me. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, or you can delay then if you want. Bullshit, it has to spend a whole order using the... Oh, that's only for your active turn. You can't do that right now. I will try to discover you for free. Okay, make the yes. roll. Because yeah, because it's my second shot skill, so you can get plus three to hit. So I think a fifteen is needed. Mm, yes. Easy. Okay. So it's just the same uh, Hunza good as the other one. Okay, now comes my big trade play. Spending an order in group two. I'm going to very carefully change your Dakini to a silhouette two and mine to a silhouette two, and I'm just going to move here so I'm gonna be using my light shotgun but the the point is that because I can uh, I can position here that um, this model can't see and this model can't see so the shotguns just gonna rip through them but because I have the six senses level two I can if you are inside eight yeah so what you're allowed to do right now is you can delay to wait to see what I do but then when I shoot you they won't be able to shoot back at me because the um, the figure of the Dakini attack bot is blocking the line of sight to my Hunzukut. So this model yeah, here I can mean, shoot me, and this I mean, one I, can. I can dodge with the CSU and the other Dakini. Yes, you can. It will break the link up, but absolutely you can dodge with them. If I dodge with all of them, the link will be break. If you dodge with all of them, it won't break, but then I'll get to shoot you. Um, of course, this model here can, of course, nanopulse me or fire the combi rifle. Mm, no, because I have the facing wrong, so oh, it, yes. Can do it. yes, very good point. So I will delay because of the six sensors okay. level two. Yeah. So I'll use my light shotgun to put two slugs onto that guy right there. Um, but what I'm going to do is use these flash pulls to flash pulls you. Okay. That makes sense. So you are shooting this, and the template goes yeah. up to this. It's going to affect all three people if I get any hits. Um, but you have arrows from everybody who's in, in, in eight inches or can see me. So you could split yeah. them up and do different arrows, or you could all do the same thing with the team. It's your choice. The team is going to dodge. To Everyone's dodging? To remain in the, in the LinkedIn, yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, what I want you to do is make the roll for this guy first. Because he's plus three to hit, minus three cover, minus three uh, camouflage, needs a ten. 
uh, that hits me, so I've got to d take a BTS check uh, with the cover. I don't have any uh, BTS naturally. Uh, so I survived that. Um, and now um, I want you to make. Um, in fact, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. Make, I'm gonna make my rolls first because everybody's dodge will count against this. So here come my two shots. Um, are... The proxy can also dodge because you're inside my. Arms yes, or she can. The, she can attempt to change her facing. That's right. So I'm gonna make my two um, shotgun rolls right now. A 19 and a 12. So the 19 misses, but the 12 is a hit because I'm plus six to hit, even against your mimetism and, uh, wait a sec. I should be able to get you outside of cover, or maybe not. No, I think I miss completely because um, the Hunzakut's ballistic skill 11 and you've got mimetism and cover. So in fact, I actually miss, unfortunately. Oof. So I don't do any damage at all. Yeah. Okay. So I will roll the dot. I see, uh, sorry, the change facing from the proxy. Yep. So she she dodges. And the Dakinis are dodging with minus three. No. Yeah. This guy. This guy can only change facing. He can't see me. So because I'm in his back arc. Oh wait, maybe not. No, he's he's got his front arc there. He can dodge. Does he want to move out of the way of the wall or something? Or? Yes, I want to be outside your. So you must like dodge well, forward a little bit, Brent. Any more So the HMG is going to try to dodge. Fails. Nope. The CSU. Now she she can only. First. These guys can't change their position; only they're facing, because they can't see uh, me. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So there are some rules for go the one that, that I mix with. Them. They're, they're a bit different. Yeah. If if you if you dodge in response to an enemy that you cannot see, you can only dodge by changing your facing. You can't get a movement with it. But if you dodge by responding to an enemy that you can see, you can move up to uh, two inches or go prone. So we'll dodge with the CSU. I think it's twelve. Yep. Yeah. So she can she can change the facing. Yep. And the sniper fails. And last one is the combi. Okay, nothing. But also, nothing happens. Okay, and then for my last order of the turn, I'm going to activate the Hunzakut again, and it's going to um, go prone and move backwards two inches. To that just in case it survives somehow so you probably have another flash pulse again and this time you can nano pulse me or shoot your combi rifle from the engineer i will flash pulse you oh, sorry and i'm pulse you with the proxy the flash pulse with the these guys want to dodge again or do they want to shoot me i want to the to the delay delay well, I'm, gonna to... I'm gonna shoot my shotgun again the same way i did before yeah, they are going to to dodge Again, all. Okay. I'm going to make my roll first, just because if I get 11 or less on either of these dice, the dodges will be against that um, that hit. Fuck. Okay, nothing happens. So, you want to roll the nanopulser first? Yeah. I'll do the nanopulser save right now. No, unconscious. Okay, so that we don't need to do any more dice rolls, unless you want to get a movement from the Dakini HMG. Okay, well that's unlucky, but at least mm -hmm. I got the Marut, and now it's your turn. I think I have nine orders in group one and um, five in group two. Yeah, sounds about right. I've only killed the Marut, I think. And you've got your chain of command, of course, to um, prevent the lieutenant from being a problem. So what I'm going to do first is spend one order in group one in this Proxy. Yep.
Where would you like to move to? I'm thinking about the Cautius move, but I think I can't reach any this. It'll be mm -hmm. difficult because um, the the bot has a line of sight to quite a long. long That's start. what I'm thinking about using the Cautius move order, but I think I can't reach this. It's close, but yeah, I, th I think the bot is just barely going to be able to see the edge of your base as you move move over. I'm going to do is to just move up to here. Okay, so the bot will fire its missiles. And I'm going to use the flash pulse. Okay. Flash pulse is a very high whip. Um, so I'm going to hit on just 12s. And your flash pulse will hit me on um, 15. Is it two shots in the active turn for flash pulse? I think it is. I think it's only one. Flash pulse. Yeah, burst one. Okay, but at least it's uh, 15. Uh, 15 plus 3 for, yeah, yeah, for range, but you have cover, so 15, yes. And you can just currently see you just barely. What do you get? Seven. I roll a seven. seven. That's a good roll because now I have to get uh, a mid range roll. Okay, well, that's good for you because you don't die, but also um, I don't die, so um, nothing happens. We'll spend one more order on him and he will move up to here. Okay, I'll fire the missiles again. I'll use the, the first pulse again. Okay. Let's go again. Uh, I win this time, so you've got to take three armor saves at half armor. So, or two, I think. Just I so got it. him. I'm trying to to kill the repeater. I can see that, which because... is why I really wanted my missiles to hit you, because the repeater is very important right now. They are really pain. What I'm going to do is spend one more order in the engineer who is going to touch the panoply. Okay. Uh, yep, critical pass. So you can take some gear. Do you want nano, nano screen or do you want to roll? Na nano screen, yes. Nano screen, okay. What's next? I'm wondering if we have a nano screen marker somewhere. We'll use one more order on the proxy who is going to move up to here. Oh, okay. Just uh, staying uh, to avoid my missile launcher bot, is that correct? Is that correct? Yes, and to see your bounty hunter. Um, well, let's just change there, because um, mine mine's prone. I don't think you can see me because these boxes will prevent that at the moment. You have but to come because I moved through this through this path. Oh, you went 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 there thing. first. Okay, I'm gonna fire my arclight cannon um, adhesive. Shoot the the combi. Wait, I've I've got a breaker rifle. Uh, I'm still going to use the Arclight Canon adhesive though. Um, so you're going to shoot the combi. Let's have a look at the range. Um, um, I mean, where did you move to be able to see me though? I think you could come within sixteen. That's fine. That's fair enough. Okay. So I've got one dice on a zero range band. So I need twelve. Um, I'm going to roll. Need... I got a seven. I have nine screen. Okay. Yeah. Because I have the nano screen and also the mimetism. Yeah. Yeah, you got the nano, nano screen, of course. Um, two hits. 
So I'm going to make my armor saves. Um, 17 and 9. Uh, I think that I'm dead because I'm only armor 1. So I'm unconscious. Okay. I will spend one more order in the proxy who is going to move. Up to here. Okay. I can't see her. And with the next one. Hmm. If I go inside the building, you will be able to see me with the missile launcher bot, no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will be able to. Unless she first of all moves to the side and then moves into the building. Then she'll be safe. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, I will do that. Okay. That was the first. With the second, I will just touch the the window. Okay. Uh, other another one. I will just go inside with the first part. Yep. And with the second, I will move up to. Here, I will spend one more order moving to touch the window. Yep, and with the second one, I will move outside. Very nice. With another one, I will move. Up to here. Yep. And the second one up to here to touch the. Okay. To okay. Touch the... No. I will spend another one. And I will use a short skill to get inside oh, the building. If you go inside the building again, the, the bot will be able to see you. I have to risk. Yeah, there to might be another to... way of doing it, but yeah, if you want to do that, I mean, it's up to you. I I don't have many orders left, just the lieutenant order. So. Okay, so my response from the Hunzakut, I'm going to place another repeater. Okay, I will use the, the nanopulser. Nanopulser, okay, I'm going to fire the bot. So the BTS check from the Hunzakut coming up right now, needing a big number. Nope, so she is unconscious. I'll put down the unconscious marker next to her. The repeater has also to... Yes, so I'll take the BTS check for that uh, first repeater. So seven, so you've removed the first one. And then the missile bot just firing um, anti-tank missiles. Um, a two, so three saves through her. But she's got NWI, so she might be able to pass uh, two of these. You will have far more five because of the nano screen, no? Nope. Oh, no, because oh, so I, actually I can use the template mode to ignore that, so um, just normal armor. Only one or three also? Three, it'd be three. Ah, uh, yeah, she's definitely dead regardless, so she's destroyed. Uh, and the new repeater is still active, no? Yes, it only appears after the order's... Um, Taking its effect. Which is the the other way you told me about killing the repeater with them? Uh, I mean, you might have been able to spend another order moving her over to here, where she can see into the building, um, but without moving into the building itself. Um, but there might have been something mm -hmm. else I could have could have shot her with. I'm not sure. Yeah, in fact, the sniper would have probably sniper. got her. 
I'm not sure. Okay, so I will spend my lieutenant order just to move this plus plus pulls a bit. Well, ho hold on a second. Hold on a second. You've got Stratagos level three while the Marut's alive, but right now this guy's lieutenant. Um, oh, he still have does he still have um, Stratagos level one even though his chain of command? My mistake. Sorry. But you might be right, actually. Let me just look at his abilities. No, no, no. I, I check on only if this oh, is... Only if, if he's... he's only if his base profile is a lieutenant. Yeah, no, you can't do that. So, I'm going to spend one order in the link team. And let's see what happens. The link leader is going to be the HMG. Yep. Oh, that's going to see my um, my brawler sniper, unfortunately. Okay, um, the brawler will shoot at you, and uh, Valeria is going to um, hack the um, Dakini HMG. Now, I think that means that the link will break because they're doing different things. I'm just not too sure if the link bonus um, expires after the order, after the arrow. Though, I mean, there's eight people watching in chat right now, so I'm sure you guys better tell me. Like, just type, type, type to me if 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 that's different. But my understanding is that the link breaks, and I only get one shot with the brawler. But if that's not the case, and if I get two shots until the end of the order, just let me know what the what the ruling is there, because I'm not 100% sure. Because right now I've got the Brawler, I've got Valeria, the Clipper, and the Druze. Um, I'm going to be doing it either way, so um, do you want to just fire your five shots at the Brawler? Mm, yes. Uh, you will have cover over there, no? Yeah, I will. So it will be four teams. Yeah, it'll be five shots. Yep. I have a grid. Yeah, because uh, you still got the five man link. Okay. I'm going to do my first shot, um, and then we'll figure out if I get two shots later. <laughs> um. Okay, no, actually, that's not a crit because um, I'm Ballistic Skill 12. And I get plus three for range, and I ignore your mimetism. So your crit will still work. So um, let's pretend that I get a second dice. I'm not too sure if I do. We'll check the rules later. But it's I only have to check that it's not a 15. Okay, it's not a 15. So this this brawl is definitely destroyed. So it doesn't really matter about whether she got the link team bonus. And then the gotcha attack onto the um, the uh, Dakini fails. So you're actually fine. Okay, yeah, no problem. So let's spend one more. Order there. I'm going to check if everyone inside. Yes. Oh, the, uh, um, the Actually, I'm not too sure to... if the link team completely breaks. Um, it's just that the brawler who did something different um, to the rest of the link team uh, pops out of it. So Valeria and everybody else declares the, the same thing, but the brawler did a shot instead of a hack. So there's still a three person link there. What yeah. I'm going to do is move up to here with the Dakini. Okay. Oh, to see the um, Hunsukut? To see the... The, the repeater. The, the repeater. Okay. Uh, yes. And I will move the other guys. Nice.
Yes, I want to see the, the repeater. Okay, I'm gonna declare the gotcha hacking attack onto the um, onto this guy. What is the one that make the like, go immobilize? Yeah, that that's the one that's gonna immobilize him this turn and next turn. Okay, so I will put the fight shot on the repeater. Yeah, so it's a short range, so minus three, but you're in a link team, so just straight uh, 11s. Um, gets it four times. Um, so repeater's destroyed, and I'll make one dice roll for my gotcha attempt. Uh, fails again, unfortunately, so uh, you're, you're free of the repeater now. Unfortunately, no. Oh. Good luck on the hacking. Another one, another order of them. I'm going to check the range of the smart missile launcher. Should be zero range band between eight and twenty-four. So I have already spent the order and I'm going to move. The Dakini HMG is going to be the leader again. Yep. We'll just show up to the corner to see the... Of course, yeah. So the, the missile bot will just fire missiles back and hope to get some lucky rolls. Yeah, so your zero range ban, minus three for cover, but plus three links, so five dice on 11s, and for me, I'm on 12, but minus six, so I need sixes. So I'll fire the template. Four, 14, I think. Uh, well, your shots will be at zero range band, um, and minus three for cover, so just uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah. But I, I need to get a six, so can I get really lucky? Just a one. Um, you've got a, a five and a nine. Okay, so two saves. Uh, not enough. The nine's going to get through. Two more orders. Uh, one more order in the link team. Now the leader is going to be the, the sniper. Yep. Any arrow? Um, yeah, if you've come within range of my um, robot, robot over here, then I'm going to hack you. Yeah, so I'm going to declare a hack, a gotcha attack on the um, HMG. Okay, so I can't do anything, I think. So. You could reset. Even with, even if the link leader is the sniper? Yeah, they can all just declare a reset on all of them. Okay. In that case, I will use reset, please. Okay. Let's see if I can pass a... No, I failed it again, so don't worry about your roll. Um, I've just failed every hacking attempt. That's okay. Okay. And with my last order, the link leader is going to be the Dakini commit. Yep. Do you want to move again? I'll, I'll hack you again if you do move, but... 
I haven't been very successful with my hacking so far. I will I will try to move again. Okay. And now I can see your Drew's killer hacking device with this Nakini. Oh yeah, he's going to dodge um, backwards um, to this way, and I'm going to declare a hacking attack on your HMG again. Okay, and I will shoot the, the Drew's. Oh, with the combi, okay. Yes. Uh, looks like long range for you, but you got four dice, so I'm going to roll a dodge for my uh, hacking device, uh, so my killer hacker. Uh, nine successful. I will be looking for 11. Yeah. Uh, you also got a nine, so nobody goes anywhere. And my hacking attack, come on, hacking attack. Uh, finally passes, but you've got a BTS save now. With plus three. Which is so this this guy is going to receive the BTS. I mean, which is the match of the of the program? Uh, Thirteen. So you just got to roll a eleven or higher, and you're fine. Very easy. Okay, I'm going to change this. Thirteen. I always. Forgot to change the facing of my models, so that was my last order. Okay. Right, so I don't have many people left. Uh, it's my turn two now. So my group one has Valeria Gromos. Uh, it's got uh, the uh, Drew's hacker killer hacking device. It's got the brawler lieutenant. That's three. There's um, one more Fugazi drone bot. That's four. Then a group two, I've got the Pathfinder, that's one. And a Camille, that's two. So I think it's just six. Let me count that up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's about right. So I'll spend two command tokens to move the um, guys in group two to group one. So I've got six left. Okay. We're going to remove the link team because um, we're not going to use that right now. Okay, we just need to keep shooting and uh, keep getting lucky. So I'll spend one order from Valeria Gromos. And she's going to put down the Marksmanship Level 2 support web program onto this um, Pathfinder bot. See if he can get lucky. And then in the next order, the Pathfinder bot is just going to. Um, just very carefully move to this spot here where it can see only the um, the Dakini Sniper. There. Okay. The Dakini is going to shoot. Alright. We'll have a look at the range. It's less than 16 inches away, so zero range band for you. So you will skill 14, minus 3 for cover on 11 on 2 dice. Uh, I'm bliss skill 11, plus 3 range, I ignore cover but not mimetism, so just 3 dice and 11, so it's very close, so I'm going to need to get lucky here. Alright, so going for 11s. Uh, nine. Uh, I've already got a 5, yeah, so you get me twice, I'll take 2 saves, uh, unconscious, okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is move, uh, spend my lieutenant order to move this guy, um, just standing him up, walking him over here. And then the second order um, comes over to here. 
and then I'll spend my last command token to reform the link team onto the the Druze and Valeria and the Brawler. And then what we can do is spend one more order on them and we can um, activate the Druze killer hacker device. So he's prone. He can move forward a little bit just because he can already see this. Um, this the, the game. Yeah, and the lieutenant's just going to stand around here and we're going to move Valeria as well. So she's going to move uh, 2.5, 2.7 and one point a little bit. Okay, so you okay. got Dakini versus the um, the Drew's Kalak device. Okay, I will shoot you. Okay, uh, so I've got a, just a copy rifle only. And long range for both of us. So your bliss skill 14, minus three range, minus three cover on an eight. And for me, similar thing, um, bliss skill 12, but minus three range, minus three cover, minus three mimetism. Rolling for three. Uh, yeah, so I'm on threes, but four dice. So I'm gonna just try and lucky. Uh, eight. Yep. Hitting a three. Uh, you missed. We both made music, okay. I think. I'll spend another order to try it again. I'm gonna move Valeria back because she's the data tracker. I've got to keep her alive. So that's gonna come back here. And I'm just gonna try that again. You ready to roll? So I need threes. Oh, so double then, three. Oh, okay. It takes two so, crits. I'm going to just level. Okay. But now the link is broke. Oh, the link is broken as well. That's that's good for me. Okay. Only two orders though. Um, so I've got to be careful about this. Um. Yeah. Still, we need to need to activate. Um. Okay. Spend one order on the uh, killer hacker. He's going to walk. Um, if he just walks to here. 2.5 and then 1.5 like this. Valeria is going to walk around here. Drew's lieutenant. Uh, have you got more command tokens? Yeah, you got one. I have one left. Drew's lieutenant's just going to go prone. And then the second. Um, Second uh, short skill, I'm going to try and shoot a repeater because he's got a pitcher. So I'm going to put it here. Um. Is it better to do that? Yeah, I think that's okay. In fact, he's he's got... Um, He's got two repeaters, so he can fire them both because he's in a link team, so he's going to fire them both. Like that. So the one that's closest to me, I'll, I'll make a roll to see if it lands. Um, 13. I think it doesn't because he's uh, zero range band, so that one doesn't appear. And the second one, 10. So there's a repeater there now. And I've got one last order for this game. Any guys around the side? We will have the last round also, I think. Yeah, I do. So he's going to move back mine here. And these guys are going to go prone. In fact, I'm going to move her around here first and then go prone. And she can be the link leader. Okay, now it's your your final turn. Check how many orders I have left. Because of the net road, the proxy order will be inside my pool. Yeah. Yep. Even if I lose both models. Yep, that sounds right. 
So if I'm correct, I have nine orders in group one because I have lost the Marut. Yep. And four in group two. Yeah, that looks looks to be correct. What I'm going to do first is activate the CSU. Yep. We'll move up to here. Okay. And she will try to shoot the repeater. Sure. With the burning shotgun. Oh, okay. Sorry, light shotgun. Light shotgun. So he's rolling for 18. Ah, two hits. Okay. Let me see if I can take some saves. Uh, yes, the repeater's destroyed now. I will activate again the CSU. Yep. Uh, that's my first part. Okay, no arrows. I will a little more. I will use my last command token to reform the link. Okay. Yeah, I will use one more order on the link. The leader is going to be the that kini combi but this guy's unconscious no, that, so, yeah what, that, that one no, sorry uh, you gotta keep them in coherency maybe it should be this csu yes have to be the csu That was the first part. Okay, I don't have any arrows against that. Just be careful about moving around because what you're doing is you're moving the the ruler through the wall. So just just move him carefully. No, that was my second. So I have only four. use my last order on that pool and the leader is going to be the Lakini Gombi. Yeah. I I want to be able to see your HBT. Not enough range. Know. Too far away, unfortunately. Yeah, 
You're not allowed to move through the um, crate. you can do is just measure them and then pick them up and just continue like yes. if you start here you can move here then move like that just think um, uh, any arrow not yet Okay, that was my last short skill. Okay. Well, um, no. One of your Takinis died back here. He shouldn't be moving. Mm. I think you've accidentally moved one of your Takinis who got shot. I to erase the Takini because I'm. That is the Dakini that is kill. Okay, that's fine. I keep messing things so I will delete the Dakini. No worries. Okay, I was done one order in group one. This was supposed is going to move up to here. The remote can also control the antenna at the end of the game, no? Yeah, of course, of course. That was my first move. Yeah. Another four. I'll spend one more order. Over there. And there is one to touch the antenna. Yeah. I will use one more order in the broadboard. The jute bot is just disconnected, no? But it's still over there. Yeah, it's disconnected at the moment. Okay, I will spend one more order. Another one. Another one. Okay. Let's get him in there. I'm trying to get as much as possible models base to base with the antenna and also try to conceal the line of fire yeah i think the... i think it's an intelligent thing to do because it reduces the possibility of me shooting one of the bots and denying you the two points which are very important
Anything else you want to try and achieve with this turn? I'm going to move the the bounty hunter. Okay. And four. And with the last order, we'll just go up to here. To have line of fire with the panoply. Very nice. And that was my last order of the of the game. Good. You know, you've played a, played a good game. You've done very well. Um, except for the few decisions where I had to sort of help you and tell you what the right, right choice was. But other than a couple of important moments, I think you've played a really good game. So um, I've got one more turn, so I can try and save some points. Um, but at the moment, I think you're ahead on kills, because even though I've taken out the Marut and some troops, I've, I've got very few troopers left. So if you've got the an antenna and the army points, and you've um, got more from the panoply, you're on five objector points. But for me, I've uh, protected my data tracker for one point only, so it's 5-1 right now. If I kill enough guys that I get the army points instead, then I think it's going to be a draw. But that's very difficult because the troops that I've got left alive are very, very few. So let's have a look at it. Um, I still have Valeria Gromos, that's uh, one. And I still have the Brawler, that's two. And the Druze with Killer Hacker, that's three. And I have um, Flashbot here and Probot here, so that's uh, five. Uh, let me just check if I'm missing anybody. I think really five is, is all I've got. Um, and that's not many points at all. In fact, I'm just going to have a look. Um, hacker, so Clipper's gone. There's one, one Fugazi, one's a good stead. Saito's gone. One's a good stead. Pathfinder's gone. Bounty Hunter. So I've only got 106 points left. Um, I know that you've definitely got more than that right now, even though that the um, the yield bots don't count and that the bots at the back don't cost very much. But if I kill most of the Dakinis, maybe. So I've just got to take a risk now and try and play for a draw. So I'm going to spend one order here onto my um, Druze with the rifle, and he's just going to come to the edge here where you can see your um, HMG. I'm going to try and shoot you. No, okay, well, Valeria's going to move well, Just shoot me back. Mm, yes. yes. So it's within 16, which is good for me. Um, so you're going to be minus three range, uh, sorry, zero range, minus three cover. So you'll be uh, four man link. You're going to be on eight on two dice. And for me, I'll be nines on three dice because it's blitz school 12, plus three range, minus three cover, minus three mimetism. So I'm just going to hope to get luckier than you. Three only. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I one get save. Yeah, one save. I need to roll in eleven or, 11 or more. No, something like that. Oh, looks like I got him. That's a start. Now, unfortunately for me, your CSU uh, has the um, NWI, which is annoying. So I'll spend one more order on my uh, little team, and I'm gonna. Um... Oh, there's a Dakini combi there. I'm gonna move my killer hacking device to the edge just here, where your Dakini will be visible, and the rest of them are gonna stay where they are. So you got a response from your Dakini right here. I will shoot you. Okay, um, Drews has viral pistols. Wait, um, is there, I think it's only one viral pistol. So he's going to use his uh, combi rifle because he's got better chance of hitting with extra dice. So I'll throw three dice. And you're oh, at no. close range as well. So you're going to be hitting me on 11s, and I'm going to be hitting you on 9s. So it's three dice versus two dice again. Okay, I got... Uh, Ooh, 
seven. Eight. If I, if I play the eight. So you win. I'm going to take my armor save. Pass the armor save. So spin one new order and I'll just attack you again with that same um, Drew's Kalaka device. Ready to make the same roll? Yes, let's see what happens. Uh, I've actually got, f I should have four dice. I've rolled the wrong number of dice. I'm just gonna roll one more. So I've got a two and what else do I get? A 13. Uh, so I think you've beaten me again on the seven. Uh, seven. Yeah. So take my armor save. No, okay, I think that's going to be the end of the game there because the Drews uh, breaks the link team. And there's nothing more that I can really do. And he's probably worth the rest of the points. So unfortunately, that's it for me. Well played. Um, that I means that I will only have 81 points left, which should surely mean that you've got more. I have 146. Yeah, easy. Okay. So Sorry, you get a... You get a minor victory. Congratulations. You got five objective points to my one because you've got army kills, the transmission antenna, and you got more panoplies. And I kept my data tracker alive. You didn't. So I get one point only. 5-1. You for, for your advice in the hard choices. Yeah, no worries. I, I think that if you'd made the decision to flamethrower Saito, that would have um, been an instant loss because... Saito would probably pass and then you'd be in close combat with him and then he survives and he just kills you and uh, no more Marut. Um, and a couple of other things with where the Dakinis were positioned. But did you feel like you're learning some things during this game? Yes, I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Um, of course, because it's all going to change when N4 comes out in a couple of weeks, but it's good to have the fundamentals there to understand infinity positions. Um, so that's really good. But um, O12 will get, and LF will get two um, points out of that for round two, which is very much needed for them because unfortunately they are in last place right now. But that will put you guys level with Yu Ching. So um, hopefully you play a good round three as well. So good luck for that game as well. Yeah, and let's hope everyone can play. But if everyone plays, you <laughs> don't right, have to play. So right I don't now know against Hakaslam, Hakaslam is four games, so eight tournament points to two, so you're going to need to try and um, get some good stuff. But yeah, it's not a bad list. I think there's some things I'd do differently about your list, um, but it's mostly good. The one thing I really prefer to have in a list like that is um, a hacker to put assisted fire on the Dakinis or the um, the Ghost Jumper level Z to give them the extra ballistic yes. skill. It's very hard to get 15 yeah. orders with a Marut. But in the group, they told me that the Marut list is really good for for this kind of game. For, for finish line, yeah, I agree. Uh, I think that's right. Um, the way that you played it's okay, except for a couple of decisions here and there. But um, you've got to be a little more conservative with the Dakini sometimes, and other times you've got to be a bit more aggressive. So it's just about understanding the game well enough to decide when to pull them back, when to move them forward. Unfortunately, I was very unlucky with my Hunzakut here rolling um, misses for all shotgun shots and all my hacking attempts failed. So with a bit more luck, I would have kept it a close game. Yes. But, um, because if you failed. put the template over the link team, it will be a game over. Uh, yeah, I think I probably would have won if, if, if I'd got some hits there and I'd got some kills because then you wouldn't have been able to pull that back and I would have been able to move forward. But that's okay. Um, it's 12.30 my time, so I'm going to head off. Um, but thanks for playing. I'll see you on Discord. Thank you. Bye. Have a no good worries. night. See ya. That's it for the stream, guys. Catch